Welcome to TechLogix. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect an HD analog CCTV camera to a DVR using a simple 3 plus 1 CCTV cable with BNC and DC connectors. If you're setting up a security system and want a clear, high-quality video feed, this guide is perfect for you. I'll walk you through each step in a simple and easy-to-understand way so you can do it yourself confidently. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything from preparing the cables to making secure connections with BNC and DC connectors, ensuring your camera is properly connected for optimal performance. Let's begin by preparing the camera end of the cable. Take your 3 plus 1 CCTV cable and carefully strip away about 3 to 4 inches of the outer insulation. This step will expose the individual wires inside, which are used to connect the camera to the system. Be gentle during this process to avoid damaging any of the wires, as damaged wires can affect the connection quality. After stripping the outer insulation, remove any protective film or covering to fully expose both the coaxial cable and the power wires. This preparation ensures that you're ready to connect each wire properly. To make the process even easier, refer to the animated diagram provided in the tutorial, which helps you easily identify each connection point and wire type. The coaxial cable will have a BNC connector that we need to attach. To start, take your coaxial cable and carefully strip about 1 inch of the outer insulation, skin. Be sure to do this gently to avoid damaging the internal components. Once the insulation is removed, you will see the inner core, the central conductor, and the surrounding shield, which acts as the negative or ground wire. This step is crucial because it prepares the cable for proper connection to the BNC connector. Inside the cable, the central wire, Signal Plus, is usually protected by a layer of PVC insulation. Carefully remove this insulation as well, but be cautious not to nick or damage the conductor. Exposing the inner conductor ensures a strong, clean connection to the BNC connector for optimal signal quality. You can refer to the animated diagram or the video guide to see the exact method of stripping and preparing the wires, which ensures accuracy and avoids mistakes. After prepping the wires, twist or fold the shield and the central conductor together as shown, ensuring they are well aligned for attaching to the BNC connector. Make sure the central core is exposed and straightened for easy insertion into the connector. Properly prepared wires will help achieve a secure and stable connection, leading to clear and stable video transmission. Watching the video demonstration can give you additional visual clarity on the process, helping you complete the connection smoothly. Center core, signal plus, wire of the coaxial cable and gently fold it about 0.5 cm. This small fold helps to strengthen the wire and make it easier to insert into the BNC connector center pin. The folded wire will grip securely, ensuring good contact with the connector for optimal signal transmission. Now, take the prepared coaxial wire and the BNC connector. Start by opening the outer cap or shell of the BNC connector. Carefully slide this cap onto the coaxial cable, ensuring it fits snugly around the outer insulation of the cable. Then, insert the folded signal, plus, center wire into the center pin of the BNC connector. To do this properly, loosen the small screw or clamp inside the connector that holds the center pin, insert the wire firmly into the pin, and then tighten the screw to secure the wire in place. Make sure the folded signal, plus, wire is properly seated within the center pin of the BNC connector before tightening. The fold in the wire helps to grip the pin securely, which ensures a solid electrical contact for reliable signal transmission. Once the wire is firmly secured and the center pin screw is tightened, verify that the signal, wire, the shield, is also properly positioned within the connector's common grip point. After confirming both the plus and wires are correctly seated, use a nose plier or cutting plier to gently tighten the connector's outer grip or crimper. This step ensures the coaxial cable is firmly clamped inside the BNC connector, providing a secure, conductive connection that effectively transmits both the signal and ground. Properly gripping the cable is essential for a stable and high-quality video signal. An essential point to remember is to ensure that both the signal, plus, and ground, wires or pins do not come into contact or touch each other inside the connector. 
Any short circuit between these pins can cause signal loss or damage the equipment. Carefully check that the wires are properly seated and isolated within the connector to prevent any shorts before final tightening. Once the wire is firmly secured and the center pin is tight, slide the outer cap or shell of the BNC connector back over the connection. Make sure it snaps into place securely to ensure a tight and secure fit. This will complete the connection, providing a stable and reliable link for your video signal. For power connection of the camera take the male DC pin connector and identify the three wires available for providing power to the camera. Out of these, you need to select any two wires, one for positive and one for negative power supply. While the color coding can vary, it's important to match the polarity correctly. Typically, the positive wire is red, and the negative wire is blue or black. Ensure that the wires you choose have matching polarity on both the DC pin and the CCTV cable to prevent any damage to the camera or power supply. For example, in this setup, the positive supply is connected from the red wire of the DC pin, which is also connected to the red wire of the 3 plus 1 CCTV cable. Carefully join these two wires together, making a solid electrical connection. Once connected, insulate this joint thoroughly using insulation tape to prevent any accidental contact with other wires or conductive surfaces. Proper insulation is crucial for safety and reliable operation. Next, for the negative side, connect the black wire from the DC pin, which indicates negative, to the blue wire from the CCTV cable, as shown in the video. Make sure the connection is secure and then wrap it with insulation tape to protect against short circuits. Ensuring a tight and insulated connection helps to maintain a stable power supply and avoids electrical faults. Finally, after completing both positive and negative connections, fully insulate and protect all exposed wire joints and the DC pin connector using insulation tape. Cover any places where wires or connectors are exposed to prevent accidental shorts or contact with other objects. Refer to the video demonstration to see the proper method of insulation, which helps keep the setup safe and reliable for long-term use. After completing the BNC connection for the video signal and the DC connection for the power supply using the 3 plus 1 cable, you're ready to connect the camera. First, attach the camera's video output connector to the BNC connector you prepared earlier. Ensure it is securely connected to maintain a stable video transmission. Next, connect the camera's power input to the DC pin you wired earlier. Make sure the positive and negative connections match correctly to avoid damaging the camera. With both connections in place, double-check all joints and insulations to ensure everything is secure and properly protected. Now, let's move on to preparing the DVR end of the cable. This involves making the proper connections so that your camera's video and power signals can be seamlessly transmitted to the DVR. We will start by identifying the cables coming from the coaxial and power lines and then attaching the appropriate connectors to match the DVR's input ports. Take the 3 plus 1 CCTV cable that we previously prepared at the camera end and carefully strip away about 6 to 7 inches of the outer insulation. This step will expose the individual wires inside, which are used to connect the camera to the system. Be gentle during this process to avoid damaging any of the wires, as damaged wires can affect the connection quality. After stripping the outer insulation, remove any protective film or covering to fully expose both the coaxial cable and the power wires. This preparation ensures that you're ready to connect each wire properly. Use the stripped outer cable insulation to cover and protect the exposed coaxial cable, as shown in the video. This helps prevent damage to the inner conductor and shield, ensuring a secure and reliable connection. The coaxial cable will have a BNC connector that we need to attach. To begin, take your coaxial cable and carefully strip about 1 inch of the outer insulation, skin. Do this gently to avoid damaging the internal components. Once the insulation is removed, you will see the inner core, the central conductor, and the surrounding shield, which acts as the negative or ground wire. 
This step is crucial as it prepares the cable for proper connection to the BNC connector. Inside the cable, the central wire, signal plus, is usually protected by a layer of PVC insulation. Carefully remove this insulation as well, being cautious not to nick or damage the conductor. Exposing the inner conductor ensures a strong, clean connection to the BNC connector for optimal signal quality. Refer to the animated diagram or video guide to see the exact method of stripping and preparing the wires, which ensures accuracy and helps you avoid mistakes. After prepping the wires, twist or fold the shield and the central conductor together as shown, making sure they are well aligned for attaching to the BNC connector. Ensure the central core is exposed and straightened for easy insertion into the connector. Properly prepared wires will help you achieve a secure, stable connection. Make sure the folded signal, plus, wire is properly seated within the center pin of the BNC connector before tightening. The fold in the wire helps to grip the pin securely, which ensures a solid electrical contact for reliable signal transmission. Once the wire is firmly secured and the center pin screw is tightened, verify that the signal, wire, the shield, is also properly positioned within the connector's common grip point. After confirming both the plus and wires are correctly seated, use a nose plier or cutting plier to gently tighten the connector's outer grip or crimper. This step ensures the coaxial cable is firmly clamped inside the BNC connector, providing a secure, conductive connection that effectively transmits both the signal and ground. Properly gripping the cable is essential for a stable and high-quality video signal. An essential point to remember is to ensure that both the signal, plus, and ground, wires or pins do not come into contact or touch each other inside the connector. Any short circuit between these pins can cause signal loss or damage the equipment. Carefully check that the wires are properly seated and isolated within the connector to prevent any shorts before final tightening. Once the wire is firmly secured and the center pin is tight, slide the outer cap or shell of the BNC connector back over the connection. Make sure it snaps into place securely to ensure a tight and secure fit. This will complete the connection, providing a stable and reliable link for your video signal. For the power connection at the DVR side, Use a suitable camera SMPS, switch mode power supply, to provide the necessary supply. Connect the power wires from the cable to the SMPS output terminals by matching the polarity correctly. Generally, the red wire indicates the positive supply, while the blue wire indicates the negative, ground. Ensure you connect the red wire to the positive, plus symbol, terminal and the blue wire to the negative, terminal on the SMPS. Next. Connect the positive, plus symbol, terminal of the SMPS DC output to the red wire from the cable, and the negative, terminal to the blue wire. Make sure to tighten the connection securely to avoid any loose contacts, which can affect power delivery and system stability. Proper connection is essential for the camera to operate correctly without any power issues. A crucial note is to maintain the correct polarity throughout the wiring, do not accidentally swap the positive and negative connections. Keep the polarity consistent on both the camera side and the DVR side. Incorrect polarity can damage the camera or result in no power supply due to short circuits. Always double-check the wiring before powering on the system to ensure safety and proper functioning. Finally, connect the CCTV cable's BNC connector to the DVR video input port, which is usually labeled accordingly. To secure the BNC connector, push it onto the DVR input port and rotate it clockwise until it locks into place. To remove the BNC connector, rotate the connector ring counterclockwise and then gently pull it out from the port. That's all. Once the BNC and SMPS connections are properly secured, you can turn on the system and check the camera feed. Follow this same procedure to connect and set up all other cameras in your system, ensuring each one is correctly wired and functioning properly. If you found this information helpful, we would appreciate your support by liking, sharing, or subscribing. Your encouragement motivates us to continue creating valuable content and providing you with the best assistance. 
Thank you for being a part of our community.